This is a brief overview of the standard time barcode scanning feature. I'm going to start by pressing the F4 key to open the scanner window. So when I do that, this window opens and standard time is now waiting for input from a barcode scanner, which you can see from the little picture here. Barcode scanners work by emulating a keyboard. They essentially act just like a keyboard. So when you scan a barcode, it will normally put the text directly into the active window, whether that is Microsoft Word or, here in this case, Standard Time, into this text box. So Standard Time is now waiting for the scanner to put text into this box. And when it does, it will start and stop a timer. So before I actually scan anything, I wanted to go over some basics. And so I'm going to close out of this window and show you some of the things you'll want to do to set up for this. So the first thing you'll probably want to do is go to the Tools menu and choose Projects. You want to then create a project, which you can then add some tasks to. I've switched over to the Project Tasks tab, and here are two project tasks I'll use for this little demonstration. There's uh, foundation and utilities both under a project called Building 12. So I'm going to open this up. You'll see the name is foundation. I'm actually going to scan that name to start this timer for this task. And here's another one named utilities. So these tasks will be started using the scanner simply by scanning their names. So what I want to do is switch over now to Microsoft Word. And you'll see some of the things that you can scan. The first thing you'll need to do probably is put some stars at the beginning and ending of any text. That will be your text delimiters for the scanner. Uh, those characters do not go to standard time. They're simply there for the scanner. And um, so here are some of the things that I've typed out, uh, which you'll probably do uh, in a similar manner to allow the scanner to start and stop. So uh, what you're seeing here is a username. So this is Ray. This is Buzz. You recognize the task named Foundation and Utilities. You can also scan a barcode that says Stop. Uh, if you happen to have first scanned a username, uh, you can also clear the screen so that um, any past scans would not be displayed. And you can scan uh, a stop with the username built in. Now you notice the equals character here. It turns out that the scanner in this case will not display a space character. Uh, normally there is a space here, but they say that you have to put in an equals character and that uh, actually produces a space character. So what we really want is stop space ray, but uh, because the scanner cannot produce the space character, they require that you use the equals key. So anytime you're using a space character um, for this particular scanner, and probably a lot of other ones, um, you would put an equals key or some other character. And you would check uh, your scanner for the, um, the character that they would require. Each one's probably different. So now that I've typed these out, I can go ahead and select this text and then change it to the barcode font. Uh, so this is now what it looks like, and I've printed out some of those. They're sitting next to me, and I'm going to scan those. So let's uh, switch back over to standard time. Again, we'll press the F4 key to open that. But first of all, let's switch over to the time log. Uh, what I've done here is removed any filtering that might uh, be there. If you have a yellow X at the top of the time log, you can go ahead and click that. Make sure that you are in as an administrator so that you can see all the time logs and uh, that there is no filtering. I've also displayed the user column here so I can tell which user is currently scanning uh, or which user the time log belongs to, rather. So you'll see each record as you scan show up here in the uh, time log view. So let's go ahead and press the F4 key again. So that opens up the barcode scanning window. And the first thing I'll do, reaching over to my scanner here, is I'm going to scan my name. Okay, so that has essentially set this into a mode here where it recognizes my name and is now waiting for either the project name or the task name. So you can use either one, and we're going to use project tasks because they are much more flexible and allow you to collect more information. So I'm going to go ahead and scan one of these. So this is the result. Um, you can see that Ray has started this task at this time. 
If you look up in the time log view behind us, you can see that time, see the client, project, category, everything related to that project task. We are now starting or timing this task. So timer is running for that person. Now presumably if I'm walking away to go work on that task, I can I can clear out the screen so that no one sees the work that I just uh, started. And now I'm going to go ahead and scan another person. So I've just scanned Buzz and then I'll scan a task. And so you see another time log show up here. In this case you see the user is Buzz and so Buzz presumably is uh, walking away and um, doing his work and so if you want to you could clear the screen so that it no longer displays that scan result here. So after Ray and Buzz complete their work they can scan a complete barcode that tells them to stop that task which I've just done here and that just stops the timer for Ray or if you wanted to do it one step at a time, you can scan the name of the employee, so you'll see the status there. In fact, anytime you walk up to the station and scan the employee name, you'll see the current status, and that will stay there for one minute before it clears. And then you can simply go and uh, scan the stop. Another thing you can do is scan another task. So if you're on a task currently, and you want to switch to a new task, you can simply scan that and be done with it. So those are just some of the things you can do with the scanner. So check our website for more details and more things that you are able to scan with the uh, barcode scanner interface.